I played a game of competitive Counter-Strike 2 with follow recoil on. That means that my crosshair will move with the recoil of the weapon. No more guessing where the next shot is going to go. Here's what happened. Greetings, I, the Warrell greets you. I made fun of the follow recoil option in a previous video, but a lot of you guys in the comments said it actually would help. Now, I may be a Counter-Strike player, but I still have an open mind, so I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's roll. That was my first engagement. Ooh, I, I actually like it. Guys, I might actually like it. Oh, no. Now the trick is, oh, shoot. Oh, we have to play against nothing. Are you kidding? What's up? You guys ready for some more Dust 2? Oh, hell yeah. Nothing is an ex-pro player who played for Cloud9 back in early Global Offensive. I dropped the bomb in tunnels. Okay. Probably not the best opponent to test out goofy new settings on. Hey, let me flash you out, let me flash you out. Oh, never mind. Once I got my AK, it was time to see how this follow recoil thing worked. My mind naturally did the recoil control of the AK-47, since I've practiced it so much. Once I finally started controlling recoil beyond the first four shots, things got a little crazy. The follow recoil command doesn't account for movement inaccuracy or spread. So just because I put the red dot on the bad guy doesn't mean he's gonna be a dead guy, but it does mean if I counter strafe if the red dot's on their head, they're gonna be dead. That is extremely powerful. There's something behind me, isn't there? Oh, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just the War Owl plush. This is an adorable limited time U2s starting Friday, April 7th. It will be available for two weeks time and then gone. Make sure to bookmark the page. I've got a link in the description. For now, we're giving away three of these guys. Follow the link in the description for details and I enter the giveaway. As I played through my T side, I was having trouble adjusting, which led to some goofy body spray downs, but I definitely saw the potential of this command. Let's go, baby! The strength of follow recoil is in extended sprays. Sometimes when spraying in Counter-Strike, it's easy to lose track of where you are in the recoil. With this, you can adjust mid-spray and still hit. It kind of looks like magic. Oh my gosh, dude, what are these guys doing, bro? They're I understand that Valve's mentality with Counter-Strike 2 is to make the game more accessible to newer players, and I'm 100% on board with that. But they need to do this without changing what makes Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike. And I'd say one of the biggest things that makes Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike is the shooting mechanics. While it is fundamentally the same, you have extra information on the screen. Oh shoot. Does he get that? I heard the I heard the warning. Yes! And I think it might just be the optimal way to play. However, there are crosshair styles in the game that cause the crosshair to move based on your accuracy. Top level players and good old War Al still use static crosshairs. But always remember the five year period where the SG553 was overpowered and nobody knew because Counter-Strike players do not like change. And that's when I forgot what video I was making and just started opping. what I do. I wonder if a new player starting out right now using this follow recoil crosshair style would find it to be the ideal way to play the game over time. <laughs> two, two going B with bomb. One round. Oh! What? What? Oh my gosh! The shooting in Counter-Strike has a feeling to it, a personality, and changing something so fundamental as how the crosshair moves, it's like coming home to find your wife of 20 years has dyed her hair from brunette to blonde. That's friggin' awesome! But just feels wrong. I am seriously considering staying with this crosshair style, but the question is, should this option be removed? Does it give an unfair advantage? From my understanding, it's currently in Global Offensive, but behind the SV Cheats command. In Counter-Strike 2, 
it's clearly intentionally in the game. Does this change what Counter-Strike is enough to warrant it getting removed, or is it a good feature that increases the readability of the game? Remember what I said in my last video. The mantra of Counter-Strike 2 is, what you see is what you get. No more magic, which is really good for new players coming into the game. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys too. You were a good team. I want to run a few more experiments with this because I think we haven't even tapped the surface yet of what's possible. If we think about the weapons that. All right, so bad example. I'm thinking that weapons with prolonged spray, like the Mac 10, that are also a little bit accurate while moving, could be insane. So if we come around the corner like that, we just keep the crosshair on the enemy and do our movement, and we should be able to get accurate headshot. That feels so wrong, man, look at this. Now I wanted to do an unbox of fruit. Fragathon with this, but unfortunately, as you can see inside of the limited test, nobody plays deathmatch, which, come on guys, we need, we need a better class of beta testers. Back in the global offensive beta, these were full of people. All right, I wanna test out deagling. Like, spray deagling, not just one tap. So I'll intentionally miss the first shot, intentionally, and see if I can follow up with a second headshot. All right, so that wasn't great. All right, we'll use this guy, so I can shoot. There's the second one. Oh, that feels good. That actually feels good. So I'll miss the first shot. Oh, I like it, guys, I like it. I actually like it. Now, I know a lot of you guys want me to try this, so I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens if I... Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh, the Negev is, is meta. Oh, I think this would work. I think this will work in like lower range, lower level games. You might be able to like do this kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. So the idea with the Negev is that over time it becomes more accurate, which means that the red dot is gonna be perfectly representative of where the shots are going to go. So if I'm walking like this and I'm turning the corner, I, I just have to counter strafe and put the red dot on them and it'll just destroy them. I can't believe this. Oh no. Now I know a lot of people like will like this feature. I'm wondering if this needs to be removed, like legitimately. I uh, let's try some tap shooting with it cuz I like I like how the tap shooting feels, right? Auto shotty is the one, right? Oh. So with shotguns it doesn't really matter cuz it's going to shoot as fast as it can accurately anyway. AK still, like, I know I was playing uh, like competitive and using the meta weapons and stuff, but uh, it honestly feels really good on the AK. I don't know if it's just because I actually know the spray of the AK, or if it's actually helping me, like, line up those shots. I think it's helping. I legitimately think it's helping, and uh, I might be using this. I might be using this now until they remove it. I am so torn on this one. I want to keep an open mind and not be one of those new equals bad people that Counter-Strike is known for, but I also want Counter-Strike to be Counter-Strike. I can always go back to the other crosshair, but if this is the ideal way to play the game, it'll be figured out and everybody will be switching over. Time will tell. But as a beta tester, I'm gonna keep using follow recoil unless it's annoying in the videos. Thank you for watching, I'm the War Owl and I still have no closer.